Well, things are heating up here at the breakfast table. The two individuals on the right of your screen have just been having a little boxing match. And, oh, seems like they still quite haven't worked out who is the boss yet of this coalition. And it must be said that not a huge amount is known about them at the moment. They only came into the area in December last year, which is quite recently. And the collar was only put on this mail to help keep track of their coordinates daily in February or March, <coughs> excuse me, this year. So there's still a lot being learned about them. And I'm told even this individual that was collared has grown quite tremendously in the last nine or 10 months. So they are possibly still growing, therefore, some of them at least, therefore, they're still trying to work out who in fact is the biggest and strongest. Now, what may happen with this coalition, and I hope it doesn't, is that they may decide to split up into possibly two groups, one of two and one of three. I mean, it could go either way, but there's no guarantee that just because the five of them are together now, that they will stay together. Some of them may decide that it may be more beneficial to be in a smaller team elsewhere. But for now, we have just been so, so spoilt by having the chance to spend time with these guys. Oh, here they go again. Now, initially, when we first came onto the scene, we thought the male with the collar was the most dominant, but I mean, now it appears that he's standing off and letting the rest of them snack. Gabriel, you have mentioned that there are no hyena yet. No, for now, the cheetah are lucky. Even if just one hyena comes onto the scene, these guys will forego the risk of a confrontation with it and let it take over the carcass. So he's just waiting patiently, and it'd be so interesting to know more about the social dynamics. Okay, we need to get you across to Taylor. She's found a very special little bird.